everyone and welcome in to season one episode two of game of thrones my name is lorna and it is wonderful to have you here anyways in the last episode the first one really just kind of getting us settled in with the characters and we are getting to know everyone a little bit better we know that the white walkers are back and i have a feeling that later down the line that's going to cause a little bit of trouble um also a very shocking ending to the episode as well with Jamie and is it Cersei is that how you say her name Lannister so they are obviously up to ancestral no good and a uh, poor Bran um has I don't know um it just ended ended with him taking a long dive out of the tower um so I'm guessing we're going to find out how that's going or how that ends um I think he's okay right I'm trying to remember because I said in the last episode I had read um some of the books at least like maybe two or something like that I had a look through my book collection um I read mostly on a kindle these days but I do have like books from back in the day and I don't really like to throw them out so I have like a couple of boxes of books that are just sitting um and I've went through and I have only read the first book so a lot of y'all seem to think that the first book kind of covers the first season. Um, so that'll be roughly where my knowledge is up to. Um, I've been trying to rack my brain about what happens in that first book. And I know, I mean, I definitely know some things to come. Um, maybe two or three things. Um, and again, because the show has been out for so long, um, I haven't seen any of the show and I don't know like any of the main like story plots or anything like that so please 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 don't spoil that would be wonderful and um, but I think like the biggest like takeaway from the fact that I'm coming into this quite late and it hit the popularity that it did is that I know most of the characters at least like who they are maybe what their names are um, and like who is who for the most part at least if they're from the first book but I think I definitely know maybe a couple from later on just from like maybe scrolling through TikTok I'm sure there's like a couple of Game of Thrones memes and stuff that I've seen uh, maybe not really understood what they are but I've definitely seen them uh, what else happened in the last episode sorry I'm all over the place hello <laughs> hi um but yeah what else what else what else um I really think that was kind of it you know like uh, north of the wall uh, walkers are back and um oh john snow wants to join his uncle i believe it was his uncle yeah wants to join his uncle on the wall oh actually um now that it's just popped into my head the king robert right uh robert baratheon he has asked our lovely ned stark to join him and uh, as hand of the king I'm pretty sure I remember from the book I'm sure he accepts that so again just them um, kind of looking forward to seeing how that plays out or I guess like how they've taken the book and translated the story they are into the tv show but um yeah I'm just going to get into the second one but before I do I really want to say a huge thank you to absolutely everyone who watched that first episode and for all your lovely comments when I tell you um y'all are amazing so i guess like just like a huge thank you to everyone who's part of the game of thrones fandom um your kindness um i don't know becomes you i'm not sure i'm trying to give you a compliment and i'm like clearly not doing very well um but you've made me feel so welcome definitely boosted my confidence when it comes to making these reaction videos this channel has only been going since the third of November and I have only been making reaction content in total since I think end of April May so it's not even been a year in total but this channel is absolutely brand new and such a baby when I'm recording this so yeah thank you so much for the wonderful words and the confidence and then um, I guess I just want to say I am so blown away by absolutely everyone who's come and watch thank you so much as well for the compliments on the accent um i always worry a little that not everyone will know what i'm saying and this is me um i'm still talking in my normal accent but i'm definitely definitely not this isn't like my natural i, I, I don't know it's hard to describe um 
I, I guess this would be like your telephone voice, you know, like if you're phoning up customer service somewhere or the doctors, you know, like, hi, can I speak to the doctor? This is Lorna speaking, you know, like your polite telephone voice. This is mine. <laughs> um, it's not my Glaswegian slang voice. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep I don't want to keep you the, the intros now already five minutes. So if you haven't subscribed yet, bloody smash that subscribe button. Um, I am creeping ever so close to um, 3,000 subscribers at the minute and um, the channel has just boomed the last month and you know I'm kind of thinking that maybe we can get to 5,000 before the end of the year but I, I'm not sure if that's quite too too much of a Christmas, it would be a Christmas miracle, <laughs> Christmas miracle, so yeah so please do consider subscribing, I would appreciate that and while you're there hit the like button and let's just get into Game of Thrones season 1 episode 2. Okay, so someone had left a comment saying that in the intro, the places that it shows you on the map is the places that we're going to see in this episode. And I find that absolutely amazing. So we're off to King's Landing, at least. And then to Winterfell. We need to drink, child, and eat. Ah, she's not looking so happy. It'll get easier. I do hope it'll get easier. I feel so sad for her because her brother's a nutter, right? I'll stay with Drogo until he fulfills his end of the bargain and I have my crown. He's so selfish. Ah. What did Ned Stark want you for? Buying from a slaver? Selling to one. Under my reign, you won't be punished for such nonsense. Ah, uh, so he's on the, the run. That's why he's here. He's not, I'm guessing, he's avoiding punishment. <laughs> What's he got himself into? I love him. My mother's been looking for you. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. Wait, did he not survive? I think he does, right? Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. <laughs> oh. I'm telling mother. Do you understand? You can't. <laughs> the prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. Ah, so that's the, the hound, right? Time for breakfast. Just piecing it together. It was so long ago since I read the book. So, like, I kind of remember stuff, but then also there's bits I'm um, just, like, remembering as I go. Is Bran going to die? The maester says the boy may live. Oh, yes. I thought he, I thought he was going to live. And he'll have a story to tell. I still can't believe you're going. Where's your sense of wonder, intrepid men of the Night's Watch? <laughs> so he's off to the wall. Give me a good, clean death any day. Speaking for the grotesques. I'd have to disagree. I really like his attitude, actually. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. There are times you make me wonder whose side you're on. You know how much I love my family. So I'm guessing he knows that they they shoved him. I lost my first boy. He was a fighter, too. They took him away and I never saw him again. Never visited the crypt. I do feel sad. I mean, that's obviously incredibly sad, but I feel like I don't like her. So I'm not as emotional as I, you know, think I should be. Perhaps this time she'll listen. Yeah, she'll be... Praying for him not to not to live though. Oh, what's he gonna want with him? Sword for the wall. Let me thank you ahead of time. Oh? Hello? We've guarded the kingdoms for eight thousand years. Well he seems determined to go. So, you know, good luck to you, Jon Snow. Oh, look at the wolf, baby. Except more days so I have to do it again. Who cares how they're folded? They're gonna get all messed up anyway. <laughs> Nymeria? Gloves. Oh, of course she's not gonna do it. <laughs> Nymeria, gloves. Oh, the head tilt. Present. Close the door. Ah, the sword is for her then. This is no toy. Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> oh, wait, good advice, good advice. I'm going to miss you. All the best swords have names, you know. I've got a needle of my own. Oh, I was feeling a wee bit emotional there. I came to say goodbye to Bran. You said it. My, she doesn't like him, eh? I'm taking the black. But you'll be able to come visit me at Castle Black when you're better. Oh, I'm right in my feels. I'm feeling teary-eyed. I want you to leave. I mean, I understand that it's obviously difficult for her um, with John since, you know, um, he's not, not hers. But, but still. 17 years ago, you rode off with Robert Baratheon. And now you're leaving again. Surely he's not leaving now, if since Bran's unwell. You do have a choice. And you've made it. Oh, no, don't leave her. Stay with your family. Oh, my wee heart's got the sad. My mother 
She was very kind. No, she really was not kind at all. Farewell, Snow. And you, Stark. All right, so that's everyone leaving for King's Landing, right? Because I think the stag is like House Baratheon. Yeah? And now they split off. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. Oh, I really like Ned Stark. The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. What an emotional start to this episode, right? With the Khaleesi and how she's feeling and then into like Bran and then um, John heading off here to the wall. We never had the chance to be young. I recall a few chances. <laughs> Becca with a great big tits. <laughs> Your bastard's mother. Been a rare wench to make Lord Eddard Stark forget his honour. You never told me what she looked like. Oh. I wonder what the story is there. I don't think I know that. Too hard on yourself. Worst thing about your coronation. I'll never get to hit you again. <laughs> Spoken like a true friend. Daenerys Targaryen has wed some Dothraki horse lord. What of it? She's little more than a child. Yeah, but that wasn't her. She's a child. The Targaryen boy crosses with a Dothraki horde at his back. The scum will join him. We'll throw him back into the sea. Also spoken like a true friend. Ah, it's a tough lot. Need to look away, I'm sorry. That's it, last you focus on something else. Uh, what are the prisoners for? Rapers. Oh, there we go, now we know. Castration or the wall? Not impressed by your new brothers? Oh, I forgot that because um, not everyone chooses to go to the watch, right? Father was the hand of the king for 20 years. Until your brother killed that king. My repulsive nephew will be king after him. He is quite repulsive, isn't he, actually? <laughs> and I have my mind. And a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. Gotta stay sharp. What's your story, bastard? The Night's Watch protects the realm. Ah, from... yes, yes. I mean, but we know it's true. The White Walkers, at least, as well. I don't know if there's other things in North of the Wall, but... Everything's better with some wine in the belly. I also like a little bit of wine in my belly. Oh, poor Bran. I don't care about appointments. Nah, fair play. We'll talk about it first thing in the morning. Rob stepping up to help his mum. Bran needs me. Close the windows, I can't stand it. Please make them stop. Yeah. Fire. Wait, what? Where is the fire? Oh, wait, there's somebody behind. No one's supposed to be here. He's dead already. Oh, absolutely not. Fight, Mama, fight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, puppy. <laughs> oh, what a good baby. Oh, no, I'm going to cry because I love the puppy so much. He's a good will. Oh, I'm so emotional this episode, y'all. Oh, good boy. Have you ever seen a dragon? Brave men kill them. It is known. It is known, apparently. Dragons come from the moon. Moon is no egg. Moon is goddess. I like the idea that the moon is an egg. I like that idea. Can you teach me how to make the call happy? Yeah. Okay. Daenerys um, about to start taking charge of her own life. I feel quite sad like how it's starting, but I know that, you know, she becomes like a boss lady later down the line. And there it is, the wall. It's absolutely magnificent, to be honest. I think she's going to start putting it together that, um, you know, he didn't fall. That, you know, someone's done this. Especially with the that guy turning up to take him out, eh? Oh, what's she found? I think she's going to guess it right away. I don't think Bran fell from that tower. Lord Stark must be told of this. I'll ride to King's Landing. No. You got to stay. I don't want the Lannisters to know I'm coming. All right. Well, she's going to make her journey to King's Ladin as well. I have prayed to the Seven for more than a month. Can't believe it's been a month already. Oh, his eyes twitched there for a wee second. I thought he was going to wake up. Love comes in at the eyes. Finish your man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get shy again. I got to look away because I get shy. But in this tent, he belongs to you. Yeah, that's the thing. Why would he? I really would like some dragon eggs myself, if I'm honest. I think she's going to whip out her moves this time when he comes in. Oh, there's a butt. No. Hazem Shahara. Oh, and she's learned some of the language. Okay. Oh, no. Why am I this shy? I'm a grown lady. I just get so shy. 
Is this the start of their connection then? Beyond just like marriage for a, I don't know, a purpose. I just really want a dire will for myself. Oh, hello. Is it him there making you shake? Look at that face. Who is he? Since the Mad King had his tongue ripped out with hot pincers. Oh. Sir Ellen Payne. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Away with you, dog, scaring my lady. I mean, okay. Come walk with me. Stay, lady. Maybe you want to take your puppy with you. She could do it with a walk. Do you know what I mean? I probably shouldn't have any more. My princess can drink as much as she wants. I already, like, don't like him. He's so snotty. <laughs> I love her, yeah. Go away! Your sister? He's the butcher's boy. Butcher's boy who wants to be a knight, eh? Oh, uh, nothing good's gonna come of this. She asked me to, my lord. She asked me to. It's not a sword, my prince. It's only a stick. And you're not a knight. Oh, I gotta jump back. I was like, oh no, something's gonna happen. I won't hurt him much. Nah, don't hurt him at all. Nah, I don't like it. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, run out of here. Oh, you little cunt. Yes. <laughs> oh, he deserves it. No. It's done. I don't remember the spit in the book. But I realised I was saying Arya and it's like Arya. Maybe closer to that. I'll figure it out. I promise. Poor oh, Prince, look what they did to you. Then go! Ah, well, that's what you get for being snotty. You've got to go. Go, puppy, go. <laughs> go! That's that. Aria! Can't remember what happens to Aria. Does she... Does she just stay hidden or does she run away? My lord! They found her! Who took her? The Lannisters found her. Ah. Uh... The Queen ordered them to bring her straight to him! Oh, I just feel like that's not going to end well. I don't really like the Queen either so far. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is the meaning of this? Yeah, get them told, Ned. Your girl and that butcher's boy attacked my son. No, that's not what happened. He was hurting Micah. You and that boy beat him with clubs while you set your wolf on him. Nah. Seven hells, what am I to make of this? Sansa, come here, darling. Oh, are they going to make her tell what uh, what story is she going to tell is she going to stand with her sister or with joffrey tell me what happened i didn't see liar! Liar! oh look that smug look in her face i want her punished what would you have me do you let that little girl disarm you <laughs> get him told for shame what of the beast that savaged your son we found no trace of the dire wolf we have another wolf oh no 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 sansa's wolf right get her a dog she'll be happier for it Oh, I really just need to tell you, I get so upset when animal. I'm already starting to panic. She's good! Lady was it there! I'm starting to get all worried in my heart. Is this your command, your grace? Nah, don't walk away. Stand up to your wife, man. Where is the beast? Chained up, outside your grace. I think the girls to their rooms. Oh, no, no, no. I'll do it myself. The wolf is of the north. She deserves better than a butcher. Yes, she does. I'm so upset. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm like, animals get me so hard. That's like my ultimate weakness. <laughs> I actually forgot about this, but, but I obviously read in the book, but I've not seen this scene or anything. I, I think it's going to break me. <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, no way, did he kill that wee boy? You rode him down. He ran. Oh, uh, that's despicable, by the way. Oh, I really don't like the Lannisters at the minute. Except maybe Tyrion. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might, I don't think I'll be able to look. Oh, shit, everyone. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Is Bran about to wake up? <laughs> I don't like that noise. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, I really don't like it. And also, Bran's awake. Oh, oh well. <laughs>
Okay, so I had to take a few minutes. I absolutely cried my heart out. I'm still feeling so emotional. I feel a wee bit silly. Uh, not too silly. I am an emotional person, you know, and I definitely wear my heart on my sleeve and that's who I am. And uh, I'm a real big softie. I'm, I'm definitely, I'd, <laughs> definitely really soft. Anyways, uh, what what an episode! Um, I guess just like what an ending um, to to that one. Honestly, my heart is beating so fast. Oh dear! Well, let's talk about it. So, Cersei Lannister, I she is like my mortal enemy now. I have made it my absolute mission to I don't know not like that lady um oh and i'm so mad at robert baratheon the king for not standing standing up to her like he's the king what he says goes um but i guess like it it, it seems that um the the lannisters are you know tend to do like whatever behind his back like they do whatever whatever they want anyway um but yeah for that order on on lady i just i just don't like her at all not even a little bit um i absolutely hate the prince his name joffrey what a sniveling wee boy as well i just don't like him um oh i i, I don't i just don't have anything to say other than I really don't like them to, uh, and yeah, so also a bit shit there at the end that that we uh, was it the butcher's boy or the baker's boy um, that the the hound what what was it Ned said like rode him down like he's a child and he didn't do anything and I guess like that's obviously setting the scene for the rest of the series is that you know like you don't mess with the Lannisters everything is going to be quite brutal and quite shocking and that's fine like I'll make it through I mean it, it, it's fine like I obviously understand it's just a tv show but um I get so emotionally invested in everything that I'm doing um so I just oh I don't I just really don't like them um it was really nice to see Tyrion and Jon Snow kind of bond a little bit um for them to kind of get on I really really like um Tyrion Lannister. I, sh I think that's how you say it, Tyrion. Um, the the, the pronouncing everything is is like so hard. So I'm trying to remember how they say it in the the show. But yeah, I really really like him. His character so far is like really witty, and I think really down to earth compared to his sister, especially. Um, Jamie Lannister is kind of sitting in the middle. Like I don't know. I kind of get the vibe that he may not be as bad as he is um i'm trying to remember from the again like from the book like i remember a couple of the bigger things i read the book when it first came out so i mean i'm not entirely sure when it came out but i think i'm i've read it like 2010 2011 maybe before then i'm not sure but it's been a long time so again like i i remember like the the i guess like the bigger plot lines i totally forgot um that forgot like totally had no memory that a uh, that was going to happen to that puppy that baby that baby today i, I also call all animals my babies <laughs> um but yeah so i feel like sorry i got sidetracked there with the baby again a uh, lovely lady i i feel like jamie is kind of more like he's like there for his sister um and um but he's maybe not as bad as he seems uh but I don't know if that's really good anyway because at the end of the day I'm just like make your own minds up everyone and you don't have to follow the wicked wicked lady oh speaking of not having to follow the wicked lady obviously Caitlin Stark she's on she's on the case she knows Bran didn't fall and actually that is it Maester the Maester guy the my it's not my it is maester right that maester the doctor person is he a doctor he, he i don't know he's 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 there he was helping bran anyway and 
he says that Bran has always been sure-footed um, up until now. And I think I remember that part from the book that, you know, like he's an exceptional climber and um, that, you know, he, he wouldn't fall from there. He's climbed whatever. So Caitlin um, really putting everything together and, you know, finding the blonde hair. So she has, she like knows, she knows that it's Cersei. And yeah, on our way to King's Landing. Uh, what else happened in the episode? Oh, oh, Khaleesi, Daenerys. She is kind of, um, episode started out where, you know, like she, I mean, she said it in the last one, in the first episode, like she didn't want to marry Cal Drogo. Um, she's still in, she's not into it. Like she's going along with her brother's plan because he wants to take back his kingdom since he was usurped or his family was usurped anyway um, from by Robert Baratheon. So she's just like kind of part of his plan. I can't remember his name, um, her her brother. I, I don't know what his name is. Um, but yeah, I don't like him either. He just seems a bit, he, I don't know, he's, he's like a bit similar to Joffrey, like, you know, fill yourself a bit entitled, think you're owed something, um, you know, everything's all about you, blah, 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 blah. And then probably not a very nice person, like really when you get down to it. So yeah, so I felt quite sad for her in the beginning of this episode. That was quite a hard watch for me. Um, again, just like her, her being, you know, a woman and she's not into a but feeling like she has no choice but then you know taking a turn through through the episode she's like do you know what this is my situation this is where it is um I'm going to take back I guess like take back our life and you know realizing that she can be who she want. you know like she isn't even though her brother has like you know given her up for his reasons there's no there's no reason why she can't take control of her own situation and be in control of like her own own sort of life but yeah another great episode I've been I mean I'm, I'm just too in again I read the book so long ago I thought I had read more but I haven't um I think that's good and bad um I guess like good in the sense that kind of after this season I won't really know anything that is coming um, or at least not much anyway and also sad because it's been really interesting and I, I don't know if this is I mean it is only the second episode but I don't know if you all find it interesting so um, for me anyway it's quite interesting because I've read the books I have a rough idea of I mean it is a very basic rough idea because it was so long ago but I have a rough idea and uh, seeing the kind of like books come to life and seeing how it's like playing out on on the show is it, that's also a great feeling as well because again it was long ago but I feel like they're hitting the mark so far two episodes in I'm feeling quite good um of how they've managed to capture the book how how it read and how it made you feel and whatever but yeah no I'm just like wow uh, but um yeah so that was episode two sorry for rambling uh, i'm a little bit rambly so it, you know there's maybe going to be long intros and outros i know that bothers some people but to you i just want to say you can skip it sometimes i get messages that the you know the intro is like oh my god five minutes who wants to listen to that but i know some people do want to listen to it and i i don't plan the intros i just kind of start talking and hope that they kind of come together I don't edit them and I don't re-record them so if I make a mistake at any point you'll see that it just gets kept in um but yeah so sorry for that but I try and add the timestamp so you can just skip it you don't have to listen to me waffle is that if that's not your thing that's perfectly okay uh, before I go I just want to say please do check out the patreon if you're interested in extra content early content maybe you want your name in the credits at the end of every video um, I also do like a, a hangout um, with Colin every once a month uh, there's live editing for an exclusive series that's midnight mass over there there's a whole heck ton of stuff over there polls just 
random stuff. Um, there's a lot of content that goes out from week to week as well. And not only do you get all the extra content from this channel, you also get the extra content from my other reaction channel, which is called We Bit Reacts. The link for that is below. That's a couple's reaction channel. And we do TV shows and movies. I'm probably not doing any movies over here. There might be the odd one that maybe comes up. I never want to say, oh, I will never do something. But I definitely don't have any plans to do movies here. But if you do like movie reactions as well, head on over to that channel. And feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's something that you're you're looking for us to react to. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, also as well, the join button is live for here on YouTube. If you want to become a YouTube member, you get like, I'm not sure. You get like, there's emotes and stuff or badges. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but there's also a members only live stream every other Sunday um there is a public one the alter the alternating Sunday so you don't have to be a member to get involved in that uh, but yeah feel free to check out all those that's extra bits and bobs and before I go I want to show you my tattoo because I was saying like I love all animals and and stuff and I guess like one of my most viral iconic moments um uh, over on TikTok for me uh, I was playing Elden Ring and I came across a turtle that had a pop hat on and I fell in love uh, instantly. So I have a tattoo of said turtle. Um, I try and it's a bit awkward here. Um, it says Behold the Dog. Uh, that's from the Souls games. If you know, you know. My turtle has a birthday hat on rather than, you know, the Pope hat. Uh, just because I'm not religious. But yeah, so um, I love love babies. I love animals. And I, I, have, a, I have a turtle um, on tattooed on my body with a birthday hat that says Behold dog under it and yeah i'm gonna leave you there thank you so much for watching <laughs> i'm lorna you're awesome and i'll see you in the next episode